wildlife traditionally refers to undomesticated animal species, but has come to include all organisms that grow or live wild in an area without being introduced by humans. Deserts, forests, rainforests, plains, grasslands, and other areas, including the most developed urban areas, all have distinct forms of wildlife. An amazing variety of wildlife surrounds us each and every time we hike through the great outdoors. Conservation of wildlife is important to protect the endangered plants and animal species along with their natural habitat. The main concern is to preserve the habitat so that the future generations of wildlife and even humans can enjoy it. Wildlife conservation is the practice of protecting plant and animal species and their habitats. The goal of wildlife conservation is to ensure the survival of all species. We believe in conservation, not only because it protects native plants, birds, and animals, but also because it protects us. After all, you simply can't be healthy in an unhealthy environment. One compelling benefit that comes from wildlife conservation efforts is that it ensures food security. Protecting forests from deforestation and rebuilding forest habitats to preserve biodiversity aids in the carbon sequestering process, provides new economic opportunities, and guards against erosion. Wildlife conservation promotes agricultural biodiversity, which plays an important role in building a secure, robust, and thriving food system. When agricultural biodiversity is exploited and land is cleared for agriculture, resources, and extensive habitat loss take place, as well as undocumented loss of species and massive soil erosion. Another compelling benefit that comes from wildlife conservation is that these initiatives protect human health. Conservation International reports that more than 50% of modern medicines and more than 90% of traditional medicines come from wild plants and animals. Undomesticated mammals such as monkey, wild boar, elephant etc. may visit your village accidentally. Always remember that mammals have important roles in the food webs of practically every ecosystem. Mammals are important members of food chains and food webs, as grazers and predators. Mammals can feed at various levels of food chains, as herbivores, insectivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Wild mammals have always been an important resource for humankind, and concepts of economic goods provide an analytical framework to deduce relevant socio-economic factors that shape wild mammal-human relationships and consequences for the spatial distribution patterns of wild mammals. Another group of animals that live in your village and belongs to wildlife is reptiles. Reptiles represent some of the oldest living species on the planet, having existed in many different forms for millions of years. Known for being cold-blooded creatures whose bodies are covered in dry, horny scales. Reptiles typically are not considered to be of great significance, but the reptile species is actually quite important to human beings in several different ways. The fundamental role that reptiles play in the ecosystem is a simple one. As one part of the greater food chain, they prevent overpopulation and provide food for hungry predators, especially when they are young. Their importance to humans is less pronounced but still significant. Amphibians are another group of wildlife living with you in your village. They are a critical part of nature as both predator and prey. Many species of amphibians migrate to new habitat and breeding locations during the spring and summer months and often at night. They eat insect pests which are a benefit to agriculture and help control mosquitoes which benefits human health. Their moist, 
Permeable skin makes amphibians vulnerable to drought and toxic substances, so they are exceptional indicators of ecosystem health. The health of important ecosystems, including forests and wetlands that provide habitat for amphibians, contributes billions of dollars to the economy by supporting the fishing and timber industries and recreation. You know very well your feathered friends. They are important in plant reproduction through their services as pollinators or seed dispersers. Some birds are considered keystone species as their presence in or disappearance from an ecosystem affects other species indirectly. For example, woodpeckers create cavities that are then used by many other species. After the extinction of the dodo, it was discovered that a tree whose fruits had been a primary food item of the dodo was unable to reproduce without its seeds passing through the dodo's digestive tracts, which process scarified the seed coat and enabled germination. There are so many unfamiliar friends around you. While all organisms in the ecosystem are essential, the role played by insects is particularly vital. Often underappreciated and viewed by some as a nuisance, insects are lever pullers of the world. According to National Geographic, there are about 1.4 billion insects for every human on Earth, and all of them play a crucial role in the ecosystem. Insects are responsible for biological pest control that also accounts for an additional half billion in value in the economy. Experts agree that the economic value derived from insects is, in some cases, unquantifiable. For example, it is difficult to calculate how much it costs to decompose plant life and dead bodies in the environment. Pollination of plants, dispersal of seeds, decomposition of animal and plant matter, biological control, and maintaining ecological balance are the main services of insects. All of you can do something to conserve the wildlife around you. Make your yard wildlife friendly. Plant native species of flowers, trees, and bushes in your yard. This gives wild animals food, shelter, and a place to raise families. Reduce the amount of lawn in your yard. Lawns offer minimal food and shelter for wildlife. Try replacing part of your lawn with garden beds or native plants and flowers instead. Get crafty. Buy or build your own birdhouse or bat house. This can provide hours of fun for the whole family. No yard? No problem. Balconies and patios are great locations for container gardens. Do not use pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, or chemical fertilizers on your lawn or garden beds. These products are the leading cause of wildlife poisonings, and are also toxic to companion animals. Reduce light pollution. Artificial light at night has severe negative effects on wildlife. To help, only use lighting when and where it is needed, properly shield all outdoor lights, keep your blinds drawn during the evening, and if safety is a concern, install motion detector lights and timers. Rethink fall cleanup, leaves, dead flower heads, and ornamental grasses provide critical food and shelter for birds, butterflies, bees, and other beneficial insects during the winter months. Protect the environment. One of the easiest and most effective ways to help wildlife is to preserve the environment in which the animals live. Volunteer with organizations in your area to restore native forests, grasslands, and coastal ecosystems by planting native species, manually removing invasive plant species, and taking out old fences. 
participate in or hold your own local trash cleanup to help protect the habitats of imperiled species and other wildlife. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Save energy. Driving less, using energy efficient vehicles and appliances, and simply turning off the lights when you leave a room reduce energy use. Many power plants rely on coal and other fossil fuels that damage wildlife habitat when they are extracted, and pollute the environment and contribute to climate change when burned. Unplug appliances and chargers when not in use to eliminate electricity bleeding. You can also consider joining a community solar program or adding solar technology to your home or business. Respect wild animals by keeping a safe distance away, not approaching them, and not removing them from their environment. Be an educated consumer. Think before you buy, choose products that are energy efficient, durable, made from sustainable sources, and sustainably packaged. Avoid products that harm animals and habitats, such as gas guzzling vehicles, disposable plastics, and plastic microbeads, paper products not made from recycled paper, products grown with pesticides, and products made with palm oil. Also avoid products that test on animals and contain animal parts or derivatives. Never buy exotic animals, particularly those who were wild caught, and never purchase parts and products made from wildlife, including souvenirs. Do not buy clothing or other products that use fur or feathers. Support genuine efforts that keep wildlife in the wild, such as ecotourism, photo safaris, or community-based humane education programs. Eat less meat, particularly beef. Cattle ranching destroys native vegetation, requires enormous amounts of water, damages soil, often results in lethal control of native predators, contaminates waterways, and produces methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Globally, conversion of forest to rangeland for cattle is one of the leading causes of biodiversity loss. Learn about imperiled species and their habitats. Teach your friends and family about endangered species and other animals that live near you. For information on species imperiled by trade, visit the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Flora and Fauna database. Help put an end to inhumane traps and snares. Support proposed federal, state, or local legislation against the use of indiscriminate and inhumane traps and snares for commercial purposes or to manage wildlife. Let your legislators, as well as your state wildlife agency, know that you support a prohibition on the use of cruel traps and snares in your state and across the country. If you see a non-target species caught in a trap, seek veterinary care for the animal immediately. Next, document and report your findings to authority.